When my friends and I started the scouting movement over 100 years ago, we knew it would be great, but we never knew how far it would go. The things you kids do today simply blow me away. Just across the river from my house is my favorite camp, Camp Freelander. Come on across my bridge and we'll take the tour. Camping has been a part of scouting since it all began over 100 years ago. But things have sure changed here since Camp Freelander opened in 1919. Camp Freelander has had some really great improvements since it opened. One big change is the dining hall. You know, we used to have to cook all our meals in the campsites, and we didn't have these decks and treehouse campsites either. One other really big change since the camp opened is the lake. That used to be a valley. No camp is complete without a trading post, and this one sure has lots of scout stuff in it. But I'm not sure what that blue and red stuff is, but it looks like those guys are really enjoying it. Scouts have always been reverent, but there is no better way to be faithful to your particular religious duties than to worship with your friends in the great outdoors. One thing will always be true about Boy Scout camps, and that is it takes a group of great people to plan and lead all these programs. Camp staff has always been made up of experienced scouts and other experienced individuals who understand how to help scouts learn valuable skills, like the all-important art of knots and lashing. Here at Camp Freelander, scouts have an opportunity to learn these skills in the outdoor skill area that has innovative training tools, and first-year campers get some intensive hands-on training in the Trailblazer program. Those Eagle required merit badges take a lot of hard work and some extra attention to complete. I'm glad to see that Camp Freelander has Eagle Ridge for scouts to work on some of scouting's tougher merit badges. Ernest Thompson Seton used to say that no woodcraft education is complete without a knowledge of archery. He would be proud to see the archery range here at Camp Freelander. Baton Powell used to say, boys can see adventure in a dirty old duck puddle. And if the scoutmaster is a boy's man, he can see it too. Whoever came up with these contraptions here must have had a pretty adventurous imagination. One of my favorite parts of scouting was the exposure to nature and technology because it makes boys think. See, I bet you guys thought we didn't have technology a hundred years ago. Back then, we were teaching boys the exciting art of wireless telegraphy. You call it Morse code these days. I see that idea of nature and science are alive and well here at Camp Freelander today. In our handbook for boys, we wrote that, with the possible exception of the Venetian gondola, the motion of a canoe is more graceful than that of any other boat propelled by hand. While this remains true through eternity, I have to admit that there are some pretty exciting things happening on this lake. Ernest Thompson Seton, a strong advocate for Indian lore, said that those live longest who live nearest to the ground. That is, who live simple life of primitive times. Seton spent a lot of time researching and learning how the Native Americans lived, and Camp Freelander has a program area designed to help scouts experience this as well. It does my heart good to see a scout embracing his artistic side. You know, I spent a lot of time with a pencil and sketchbook in my hands as well. The handicraft area should really help a scout be creative. Baton Powell said, a boy on joining wants to begin scouting right away. And that's why it's so exciting to see what Camp Freelander is doing with their Trailblazer program for first year campers. Scouting has, from the beginning, taught boys how to survive and be self-reliant, and while wilderness survival is still taught in the outdoor skills area, I'm glad to see a different type of survival skills being taught here in the handyman area. Merit badges have been a part of scouting since 1911, and marksmanship was one of the original 57 available. I see that it has changed a little, 
but the core principles are still the same. Breathe in, release, aim, squeeze, and success. Although scouting was designed to be a boy-led program, adult leadership has been part of scouting from the beginning. And just like the boys need training, so do their adult leaders. Baton Powell used to say, success in training the boy depends largely on the scout master's own personal example. That's why Camp Freelander has so many adult programs and training opportunities. And it's nice to know I can still get my favorite ice cream here at Camp Freelander. Training boys to be better men is what we set out to do when we created the scouting program over a hundred years ago. The Danbeard Council has taken this goal to heart and has created an opportunity for you to send your older boys to the National Youth Leadership Training Program while your troop is at Camp Freelander. What can be better than spending a week at Camp Freelander enjoying all the great programs? How about a second week? Seconds! So after seeing all that Camp Freelander has to offer, I'm sure you want to learn more about how to sign up. You can go to danbeard.org camp and register today. So much has changed since we started scouting a hundred years ago, and so much remains the same. With all the new and exciting activities Camp Freelander has to offer, I'm sure you'll find all you need to excite your senses of adventure for years to come. I hope you come to Camp Freelander. You can bet that I'll be there. Well, in spirit anyway. <laughs>